Okay, Shimai. Um, it's been a great day having the snow out, and I'm sure most of you have done the same as us, gone out, done a bit of sledging, made a snowman, thrown a few snowballs. But one of the things that we like to do, especially after a bit of snow, is come out and look for some tracks. Um, the snow is fantastic. Soft snow birds, mammals, rabbits, um, will leave tracks in the snow and then you can follow them. You can try and work out what's been about. I'm very fortunate in that we've got um, a field that we can come out and walk around and, and look in and I can see pigeons up in the tree ahead up there. Nice big oak tree. And there's also a lot of sheep in this field. But if I show you down here, lots and lots of activity. Now this is likely to be the sheep, but there's something I can see down here, have a look. Lots of tracks, but you can see there a rabbit hole. So I know that there's going to be rabbits about, and the snow is it's been warm now, so it's started to, to melt a little bit. And I love the love the crunching sound of it, it's absolutely fantastic. But if I quietly go down here, hopefully we'll find some more tracks. You can see where the sheep have been. Just found some rabbit tracks. They're not massively fresh because you can see there's snow covering them over, but I'll bring them in. You'll see two little prints at the front and two wider prints at the back. So it's been traveling in this direction. So if you have a look down here, so you can see the two back feet there, the two front feet, and he's hopped down this direction. See the two back feet have gone in there, the two front feet. And we can follow him as he's gone down this direction. And he's had a bit of a, you can see he's had a bit of a spin around there and actually you can see that one has come from that way down here and I guess they're living lots of rabbit holes in the hedge line there. It's interesting because this is more of a walk it's slightly covered over I know we've got foxes around here so this could be a fox so I'll show you the tracks in the snow. Aha uh -huh. oh ho tracks in the snow and you can see they haven't got their little wide and narrow shape. You can see it is like a walking shape coming down through here. So I'm gonna guess that that could be a fox traveling down, probably looking for those poor rabbits. This one's interesting again, because it's obviously been going quite quick, because you can see the spacing is much, much bigger. Hop, hop. So whether something scared it like a fox or one of the sheep that's in the field, but you can see there's lots and lots of activity around here. Tracks coming from the fence. It comes across here, but another great sign for the snow. Always oh, a bit gross. But you can see that little hole there is a bit stained brown. And I think that is where something has gone to the toilet, I'm afraid. And I think it was a rabbit. Gone on these are interesting there. ones because I know the one is our cat moving towards the hedge, but there's something next to it. And I think it's a, a magpie or a crow of some sort, because you can just see the tail feathers that have dragged in the snow. So these ones are the cat moving down that way. And these look to me like a bird that's been hopping down through here. I think it was probably from this morning. After we looked at the rabbit tracks earlier, you can see this rabbit hopping down the bank. Here we go, and there's two of them. Another one has joined, and you can just see. There we go, and you can see where they live up in that bank by there. But if I come across a bit further, I love the sound of the crunching snow, it's great. You can see some little bird tracks. Just see that they've been going this way. If you look, you can see shaped a bit like that. So it's kind of gone in like that. And then gone across this way. Now this is very interesting. Um, there's a track coming through. I'm in a patch of woodland now. But for the first time I can make out little pads, little footprints, which could be a squirrel. And I noticed Again in there. And it goes on down and I can see it. You can see where it's just slipped in under the snow there. 
just make out in there. So it could be a squirrel. But I also know some years ago I saw some stoats down here. And it's just by a small stream. So we'll go on and have a look a bit further down. It's a really busy track. Very busy. Now I know that most of these are the sheep. But there's a set of older tracks that come out around there. And for the first time, I can just make out a pad and some paws. And I think this is a fox. And he comes across here. And with the amount of rabbits we've seen, I would imagine that he's having a little look around for some food goes on down there. The time to go outside and just slow down and look and listen. There's lots and lots of things you'll notice, lots of tracks. It's even fun to look for tracks of people and see if you can work out which way they've gone, which way they're coming from, where they might be going. But there's lots of things. Look for the little bird prints in your garden, for squirrels for all the other creatures that might be out at this time of year. You may even want to play a little game where one of you leaves a trail and perhaps your mum or dad could follow or your mum and dad could follow, uh, leave a trail and you could follow or your little brother or sister or big brother or sister and just see if you can work out where they've gone. Sometimes people can be sneaking, actually walk backwards in the snow and make it look like they're going in a different direction. Anyway, hopefully you'll get a chance to make the most of it.